Your wife was hemorrhaging when she was brought in, now, and the sudden loss of blood has caused her to slip into a coma. Hey guys, Madison here, back for another Film Friday, and this one has been a long time coming. I think it was about two years ago now that I watched the first Rocky movie and loved it, and since then... I've tried, not many times, but a few times over many months, every now and then I would put Rocky II on a pole and it never won. And I think I've been very patient. I've waited quite some time. Many would say too long. Uh, so I have been known to occasionally on my channel make some executive decisions and this is one of those times. I loved the first Rocky movie so much, and I am dying to know what happens to him next, what happens to him and Adrian, and so I, I thought it was high time to continue with the Rocky franchise and watch Rocky 2. So here we go, guys. It's finally happening. It took about as long as it took me to watch the second Born Identity movie, Born Supremacy. <laughs> I think that was about a two-year time gap, too. So I thought it's time. It's happening this week. So I'm so excited to finally get to see this next chapter. And honestly, I think part of what brought it back to my mind was the recent passing of Carl Weathers, who seemed like such a warm and kind and genuine soul. Uh, we're all going to miss him so much. And I believe he's uh, again, playing Apollo Creed and Rocky II, and so I think part of me too just needed some Carl Weathers in my life again. So yeah, the executive decision was made, and uh, I hope you all enjoy this reaction. So without further ado, let's jump in and let's watch Rocky II. There is nothing more hype than this theme music. <laughs> Six, seven, <laughs> Apollo can't believe it. <laughs> he just doesn't quit, and that's why we love him. Yeah, they look like they've been in a war, these two. <laughs> oh, the champion really tagged him. This is like really cool deja vu. I'm reacting to the scene again. <laughs> oh, he's got him up against the rope. Champion. Ain't gonna be no rematch. The war one. Here it's chaos. Rocky, you went the distance. You went. Adrian. Coming out. Adrian. Adrian. What about Rocky? Rocky. I love them so much. I can't wait to see where they go from here. Adrian. Rocky. Hey. Where's your hat? You. I love you. That just got all my feels going again. <sighs> Are we picking up like right after this fight or have we jumped forward in time a little? Hey, you. Written and directed by Sylvester Stallone. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, so this is like right after. Wow. Rocky, what'd you think going into the last round? Well, that I should have stayed in school or something. Do you think you have brain damage? Oh my gosh. Y'all, back off. The man is barely conscious. What you did was a miracle. You're the luckiest man on the face of the earth. I want you to know that, Stallion. Well, you're going down. Did the bell save you, Apollo? I can beat that chump. I'll fight him any place, anytime. Rocky, a rematch could be worth millions. Well, I'm officially retired now. I'm gonna show you how lucky you are. You're gonna fight me again, chump. Apollo is not taking this well. First of all, my nose. The eye that concerns me. You had him in the tent, and in the 15th, he was gone. Trust me, I was there. You know, your friend Gazzo, he admires you a lot. Don't be giving me your old job with him. As soon as I could finish uh, you know, healing here, Tom, uh, to give you my old job. Visiting hours are over. <sighs> my kid would die for your autograph. Uh -huh. My good friend, Charlie Flynn. My first autograph. There's nothing like your first autograph. It's a crazy feeling. To my good friend Charlie Flynn, who I don't even know. Yeah, 
that you treasure those moments because someday no one's going to want your autograph anymore. So always enjoy it while you can. Could you answer me one question? Could you give me your best? Yeah. He wanted to know he stuck with him at Apollo's best and that he wouldn't go and easy on him. I mean, obviously he wasn't or he wouldn't have been so angry about it. Sign this now if you right want to make a dollar. Sign it here, well, takes you two seconds to I'll sign. Tell you what, you know, it's I, a standard deal. I, I gotta go somewhere now. Where, where, where you going? I'll call you, you got a number? No, I'll just call you, I'll go, hey, yo! <laughs> you know, I was wondering, like, what do you think you're doing for like the next uh, 40 or 50 years? What do you mean? <laughs> I was wondering if uh, you wouldn't mind marrying me very much. Yes. I'd like to marry you. I love them so much. There's something so real about them. It's not just, it doesn't feel fake or contrived or dramatic or anything. It's just like so real. Rocky's like, I don't get on one knee. I just pop the question. Like I'm asking her what she wants for dinner. <laughs> Adriana Pennino, volete prendere a Rocky Balboa? Que presente per vostro marito? I do. Thanks. Thanks. How much money you made from the last fight? About 37 grand. How's about investing in condominiums? It's safe here. I never use them. <laughs> oh my gosh, Rocky. <laughs> oh my. As soon as you get famous, everybody trying to get a piece of the pie, you know, trying to get you to invest in different stuff, get your money. Scary. <laughs> I just got a little married, you know? Hey, yeah, man. Congratulations. Get Star. famous some more. I like that stuff. Okay, baby. Give him something for him, Frank. There are two kinds of love. Two kinds of love. They're good. All right, we are shaking this out. Hey, yo, Buckus, could you get down? Go on. Uh, oh. <laughs> you weird. That's the way I like you. You're the best thing ever come to my crazy life. You know that? They're so sweet, y'all. You think it'll always be like this? Yeah. I hope you... You never get tired of me. Oh. You ain't never get rid of me. I love you. I love you too. They are the sweetest, y'all. I like can't take it. <laughs> I ship them so much. Hey, here's the paper, right? Hello. Thanks a lot. Yeah, congratulations. Lots yeah, of thanks luck. a lot. Same to you. We really don't need a car. Well, do you know how to drive? Why not a drive? We're about to find out. Oh my gosh. Tell me that wouldn't look great on you, huh? What about that one? Yeah, good on me. Okay. Oh, you wanna buy them? I don't know. I hope he doesn't go crazy with the money spending, cause he'll turn around and it'll be gone. The answer is he can sort of drive, but it's a little terrifying. Maybe really terrifying. Oh, wow. Nice house. All these floors are solid. Oh, solid. Well, Mrs. Balboa, can I show you the kitchen? I think you're gonna really like it. I really do love that coat. So pretty. I have a weakness for coats with fur collars. The bank said it will give us a $16,000 first mortgage at 9.5%. I say we get the house now, huh? We need to go upstairs. I don't mind, it's just details. I'm sure it's nice. You need to go upstairs. You need to look upstairs first, just in case. Listen to this. You didn't beat nobody, and anybody who knows boxing knows the fight was fixed. You were a fake. The fight was a fake. Go kill yourself. Why can't you ignore it? Are you serious? I like this. If we're gonna get more of an insight into Apollo Creed and his character in this movie, I like it. Yeah? Yes. Yo, Adrian, you did it! Oh, <laughs> having a baby. I'll tell you one thing, this kid ain't gonna get no tattoos. He's gonna be a good somebody like you. Like you. Yo, Adrian, <laughs> we did it, didn't we? How you feel, Rocky? Oh, pretty good. They got a deal today from Smart Deal Toy Company. And they want to make a Rocky doll. You understand? You can kick it, you can beat it. What kind of outfit do they have him in? It's like a Tarzan leotard. Agent, how do I look? Different. Yeah, different is one way to say it. Looks like he just stepped out of George of the Jungle. Beast after shave, take one. Action! I splash it on and it makes me smeal mainly. Smeal mainly? Can you read that, Rock? You know, I know I said it wrong, but it really don't smell manly. I mean, do you think this stuff smells like a man? I say absolutely no. <laughs> beast after shave will turn the women into beast. Cut! This isn't going well. When I put it on to go out with the guys and have a rendezvous. Cut! 
the lines are so bad though like he's not delivering them well but the lines are cringy anyway so and hey rock if you don't believe in the product don't advertise for it wet him down arthur step out please what did they do to his face my name is rocky balboa they say i'm the american dream but not because can I do it over again? Just read it off the dummy cards. I'm trying very hard and you're being rude. That's bad manners, ain't it, Adrian? Then quit. Leave. You've cost us thousands of dollars because you can't read. <sighs> Would you be interested in some sort of manual labor? I'd like to see if I can make a living sitting down like you're doing over there. No one's going to offer you an office job. There's too much competition. Why don't you fight? Everybody's trying to pigeonhole him. The only job I got is plugging beef. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised by this whole turn of events. Like I thought after he fought Apollo Creed and did so well, his fighting career would take off, but he doesn't even want a fighting career. I feel like he's gonna hate this. He's gonna get bored. Yeah, it's the best looking thing I've seen all day. You look tired. You wanna take a hot bath? How's your stomach? Alright. Yo, Rock! Gotta let you go. What? We gotta cut back on manpower and you ain't got enough time in, you know? Seniority. Well, there goes that job. Now what's he gonna do? Listen, uh, boy, you wanna buy this car, you know? Why don't you, why don't you be smart and fight again? That's okay, I don't need to fight no more. Listen, you wanna buy the car? Yeah. Huh? You wanna pick up the payments and all that? Yeah. Here you go, you bought yourself a car. Where are you going? You need a lift? needs to do something before he gets in a financial hole here. Definitely not a good time for things to be unstable with Adrian being pregnant and all that. I ain't at work no more. I got, uh, I got canned today. What are you gonna do? Think about fight. Oh, Rocky, you gave me your word you wouldn't fight anymore. If we need money, I could get a job. I can get my job back, you know, part-time at the pet shop. Maybe you're right, man. So he does want to keep fighting. He's just trying not to fight because she doesn't want him to. And so he kind of told himself he didn't want to anymore either, but he does. I love their dog. He's adorable. Look at his little jersey. Who the hell is that? Good grief. What's on your mind? Fight. You want to go blind? The yeah, eyes great. No problem. Now, look, I want to show you something now. Test you. You look at my nose now. When I bring my finger in, you tell me when you see it, okay. will you? There's a little thing, I see it. That's good. <laughs> Ever tried the other lamp? Now look here, will you? I see it. Now you see nothing. Creed would have caved in the whole side of your face. So he has no more peripheral vision on that side. That would be bad in a fight. How'd you see the hook coming? You didn't even see that coming, did you? Well, that was from a broken down pug like me. If I can't fight no more, Maybe I can help out around here, you know? You want those guys to see you carrying towels and buckets around? I gotta be around them. He loves it. It's who he is. As long as I'm gonna be promoting this fight myself, I want a lot more pressure put on for a rematch. Why go after Balboa? Because there's still a lot of people out there that think he won. The truth is that last time he was damn lucky. It wasn't luck. <laughs> what are you afraid of, Tony? I saw you beat that man. I never saw no man get beat before, and the man kept coming after you. And we don't need that kind of man in our life. Thank you. I want something done publicly to bring this man out. Whatever gets him in the ring. Oh boy. Who's your heart? Who's talking about? You heard me? What was this? What's that supposed to mean? Because of the job he had? Or because he won't do a rematch? Whoop. Hey, can't you think of anything tougher to say than oops? The disrespect. Yo, Rock. Yo, Tony. You don't need a job like this. Besides, you're Italian. Now you come back and work for me, Rock. You know, like collecting or something. Well, what else? I can't do that stuff no more. It's healthy, huh? Take it easy, huh, champ? Yeah. Remember that guy, Rock? Apollo's gonna end up goading him back into it. Listen, you wanna come home with me now and maybe I'll tell you a few jokes on the way home and maybe you'll laugh, you know? Maybe. Maybe? Okay, let's get out of here, okay? Listen to this one. Why do cows wear bells? Because the horns don't work. Is that killing you? It was an attempt. Boy, you 
guy's got the easy life. Would you like a little snack lid or something? Here you go. The turtles are back. Earlier today, I was down at Apollo Creed's palatial gym. The world champion was not at a loss for words about Rocky Balboa. Yeah, the bum's hiding, the bum's running. He doesn't want to face me. A I lot of know. reporters, Apollo, thought it was an even draw. That's your opinion and you're entitled to it. I'm ready to have a rematch to prove that this lucky club fighter, and that's what he was, lucky. Undermining that huge achievement Rocky made. Now he's doubting everything. I ain't supposed to do no commercials. and I ain't supposed to work in no meat house. I'm supposed to be a fighter. You gave that up. Yeah, I think I'm becoming nobody again, too. It's all I know. I don't want you to do it. I never asked you to stop being a woman, you know? Don't ask me to stop being a man. That hard push and pull between doing what you want to do, and it's also hard, and just copping out and doing what's easy. But he also wants to do what's best for Adrian, but he's got to do what he loves to do. <sighs> the conflict, the tension. I think we ought to knock his block off. <laughs> He's on board now. Sorry. I mean, she married him knowing what he was. She didn't think he was going to do it anymore, granted, but she knew what he was. And that's probably a big part of why she loves him. She loves him because of who he is. So she just hates to watch him do it, which I understand completely. I want the whole world to see me destroy this man after two short rounds. After this fight, he's going to have to donate what's going to be left of his body to science, but there won't be much. He's such a trash talker. Do you think you have a chance this time against Apollo? I don't know. He looks pretty mad. <laughs> 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 on Thanksgiving, in front of this man's home crowd, I'm gonna drop him like a bad habit. Rocky, got anything derogatory to say about the champ? Derogatory. Yeah, he's great. <laughs> I love how there's just no pretenses about Rocky. He's just so genuine. He just says what he thinks. <laughs> he doesn't worry about appearances. To pull this miracle off, you gotta learn to be a right-handed fighter. Now, this will confuse Apollo, and it'll protect that bad eye. You start fighting right-handed. And then it changed suddenly, and that'll make history. I could see that working. Make him think he's going right-handed, and then switch on him. Wapa! Chicken chasing is how we always used to train in the old days. You catch this thing, you can catch grease lightning. Go on and get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! <laughs> They're so fast. Are you standing still or something? Feet! Feet! Can't you catch your little chicken? Huh? Come on. What's the matter with you? I feel like a Kentucky fried idiot. <laughs> hey, Rob, what's the matter with my sister? Boy, I wish you could go talk. You know, Adrian don't like this, man. He started crying and everything. What's with this domestic stuff? Tell the business, will you? I want 500 high ones. Go! What was I, seven or eight? <laughs> Six. <laughs> Six. <laughs> one, two. <laughs> one, two. This is like a polar opposite comparison here. Time! What's the matter? That bag too fast for you? Ouch. Let's take a break, you okay? Break? What break? Where, where are you going? We're not finished. He's not as into the training as Apollo is. She doesn't need to be lifting and moving and carrying heavy stuff. I'm worried about you. I've been watching. What? Your head ain't screwed on right. My sister got you so guilty you're running all over the place. It'll be all right. No, it ain't all right. Yeah, just leave AJ alone, all right? He's very distracted with what's going on with her and her not approving and not supporting him in this. Yo, Adrian, where are you? What the hell are you doing? About what? About messing up that guy over there? Thought with me, Paul. I'm just trying to keep him safe. You're messing up his brain real bad. You know that? He's gonna get hurt because of you. If he goes blind, you walk away. I can't. I love him. You don't. What do you do? Oh. What's wrong? He is such a jerk to her. <sighs> he needs to just stay out of their business. What's the matter? You got nothing left inside, huh? Cause you're training like a damn bum. You know that? Maybe you're right. Maybe I ain't got it no more. Then don't you waste my time no more. You go back to being a two-bit nothing. Hey, Rock, they want you across the street. What's the matter? Your wife's sick. If she loses this baby? I'm Dr. Cooper. Uh, the baby is fine, even though it's a month premature. Yeah, well, how's Adrian? Where is Adrian? She's had complications. Your wife was hemorrhaging when she was brought in, and the sudden loss of blood has caused her to slip into a coma. 
What? Not okay, y'all. Not okay. <laughs> you better not take Adrian away from Rocky. I swear. <sighs> it's sad. So you're very sick, but I, I don't want to believe that. I believe you're just tired, you know. Don't worry about nothing. You just sleep as long as you want, okay? Because I'm going to be here when you wake up. I don't want to see Rocky cry ever again. <laughs> oh my goodness. She was just suffering in silence and wouldn't tell him what was going on. Karan, I'd like to tell you something once. I ain't going to say it again. You're going to be swapping punches with the most dangerous fighter in the world. And you ain't ready. Why don't you stand up and fight this guy hard like you've done before? This guy just don't want to win, you know. He wants to prove to the whole world that it was nothing but some kind of a freak the first time out. But I think you're a hell of a lot more than that, kid. Come on, Rocky. Mick believes in you. You want to stay here? I'll stay with you. I'll stay and pray. He's either going to be just even more totally distracted and no focus now, or he's going to end up just fighting harder than he ever has before. Because he's got to have so much pent-up guilt and frustration and just all the things. Fear. You know, they haven't even seen him meet the baby, meet his son. It's like he's just totally focused on her and preoccupied with her. There ain't no other trail to the ranch. He loves her so much. <sighs> Remember when we was on ice skates and I thought you were supposed to be great, but I kept giving you lip and you kept trying to slip so I could catch you. And wherever you go, Atlantic City or in the snow, don't worry about a thing, because as long as I got this ring, I'll always be there to catch you. Gosh. <sighs> Can't stop crying, guys. I'm mad at him. I'm always mad at him for treating Adrian the way he does. Her, her brother. He's just the worst. I mean, he's the one who threw her into a panic in the first place. And maybe that wouldn't have happened if he hadn't talked to her that way. <sighs> she waking up? Yes. Thank goodness. <sighs> they shouldn't scare me like that. Oh, mommy. Baby. <laughs> Look at that head of dark hair. Listen, I've been thinking, if you don't want me mixing with Creed no more, we'll make out some other kind of way, you know? There's one thing I want you to do for me. What? Win. Win. Adrian's in. Yes. <laughs> Go win for her. Go win for Rocky Jr. Let's do this. Pick him up. Pick him up. There we go. His heart's in it now. Ooh, that would be so hard. Six, forty-seven. I love the tank. Win, Rocky, win. He got that chicken. I love it. No. <laughs> yes. Hype. <laughs> A man of the people. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh my gosh, that is a huge crowd. <laughs> Look at him go. Oh yeah! <laughs> that was awesome. He's gonna have everybody behind him and then Apollo's setting himself up as the villain. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Bill Baldwin speaking to you from the site of Super Fight 2 with Rocky Balboa, the challenger, and of course, Apollo Creed. For those of you who are watching tonight's telecast, we're going to see a real great battle in every sense of the word. Gosh, are we to the fight already? Oh my gosh. Yeah! Wow. 
And it's a Paula. You're gonna help out with the baby tonight, right? I took care of everything. I don't know if I want him there or not. <laughs> Adrian, I wish you could go. Not to say no. Take care. Good luck. What's crazy is he's had all this time off. Like he's been training in the boxing ring, but he hasn't been fighting like real opponents, more like training opponents. So he's just going straight back into like fighting the top guy. Oh my gosh. Hey, yo, Father Carmine. Okay, yeah. I was wondering, you know, if you could throw down a blessing so that if I get beat up tonight, you know, it won't be too bad. <laughs> I hope he wins this time. <laughs> His wife always looks so unhappy. Get him! He's off! He's off! Get him! He's off! The contrast here. He just robe nice. This is gorgeous. It's perfect. Yeah, it's real cute. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Rocky Balboa making his way to the ring. Why this fighter of limited ability has gained such popularity is such a mystery. Because he's the everyman, that's why. And the champion, oh Apollo Creed. Very determined looking. That place is packed. In case of a knockdown, you go to the corner I tell you to and stay there until I tell you to come out. Okay, boys, let's have a good fight. He's going down. Rocky just never even says anything back to him. From the Sing greatest fight of the century, Super Fight 2, and there's the bell. And the champion comes over in a hurry now. He throws a couple of rights. Defend your face, block his punches, protect your eye. The South Park still he is fighting right-handed. He's not blocking anything. What is he doing? Is that all you want? You ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing. Oh, my the champion. Three good right hands. Oh my gosh, I can't look. Oh my gosh. And the champion starts to move in again. Oh, he's got to stop getting hit so much. That's the end of the round. And now he pushes the second hit by the champion. I broke my nose again. Balboa, he's got to be in great shape to withstand that butchery. Yeah, it was pretty brutal. You're a tank. Go to him. Run over him. This is it, man. Best of all time. Here we go in round two. Round two, the champion comes back out. He's leading across again, starting with the left and He can't see those punches coming, can he? And that's why he's not blocking any of them. <laughs> you can't hurt me. He can't hurt me, no way. You're too, 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 too slow. Man, you're too slow. Here it comes. <laughs> 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 Apollo Creed is such a showboat, taunting him and stuff. Ugh, he's such a good villain. <laughs> he's so unlikable. <laughs> Balboa's back in the corner, but here comes Balboa again. Where does he get that stamina? Get him, Rocky. Come on. <laughs> yeah, get him trapped in the corner. Come on. I'm standing there. Watch a great second round, and they're taunting each other. He made some progress there. And the champion again with combination of left and right to the head. Come on, Rocky. Beat him this time. Beat him. Into the corner, left and right to the midsection. And both first. Oh my gosh. No. I gotta give that round the bell ball. You wonder what's on Apollo Creed's mind right now. Come on. I'm a yeah, he's taking so many hits. Oh my gosh. It makes my face, my head hurt just watching. I thought he took a beating 10 months ago, Stu. But tonight, his face is back. Clean. All right. I can't look, guys. Don't let him bleed. Get him. How many rounds are there? He's lost way more than he's won. Another round for the champion. Guys, this is so hard to watch. Now you got him be on point, you understand? Now yeah. stick and move. He's He's gonna gonna go for the knockout. He's gonna go for the knockout, you understand? This near getting killed out there. It's my I life. I have Apollo well ahead. All he has to do is stay away and he retains the title. Let's see what Creed does here now. He's going for the knockout. The champion comes out jabbing with that left hand. A leaping hook from the exhausted champ on hey, five. Hey. Come on. Come on, Rocky, don't let up. Get him.
Get up, get up. Freak will win the title automatically! Get up, get up. Those movies are so good at just putting a gigantic grin on my face at the end of it. I mean, the first Rocky movie is so iconic and holds such a special place in my heart. Like, I don't think any Rocky sequel could ever top that, but this was a dang good sequel. It was a great follow-up. I loved seeing this next chapter in his life and Adrian, the, the two of them moving forward together and seeing their relationship grow and develop, seeing Rocky really just embrace who he is, like starting off kind of trying to suppress it and run away from it because he knows Adrian doesn't want him to fight anymore. And so he's trying to please her, understandably, but he can't hide from who he is. The essence of who he is is a fighter and he was trying to be all these other things, but it just wasn't working out. Because it just wasn't what he loved. It wasn't what he really wanted. It just wasn't what he was created to do. We're all created with a purpose and a passion for something. And his is for fighting. And that's just where he belongs is in the ring. And eventually, I think, you know, who knows what was going on inside Adrian's head when she was in a coma. But she obviously, during that time, came to terms with, came to terms with that. And, you know, the first thing... Like, when she wakes up, she's like, go win. She accepted who he is. And, I mean, like I said, during the reaction, I think that's, you know, that's who he is and she loves him. She loves she loves him for who he is. It's just that she has to wrestle and deal with that fear of watching him do it, watching him get hurt. And so that's hard for her, even though she loves she loves him. She loves Rocky the fighter. But there's that conflict there of like, I love him. I love seeing him win and triumph and watching him do what he loves to do. But also I hate watching him do what he loves to do. Uh, so it's a really great conflict in the story there. And I already said this during the reaction too, but I just love how grounded these movies are. There's not any just like glamour to them and just it never feels corny to me. It always just feels so earnest and sincere. And these movies are always so good at just pulling at my heartstrings. They always just get me right in the feels. And they always do it with Rocky and Adrian's relationship. They are just so sweet. And I love how they interact with each other. I love how they talk to each other. Everything about them is just so tender and genuine and I love their just fierce loyalty to each other. And they're great. One of the best, one of the best on screen relationships, honestly. Like it's just done so well. And uh, congrats to Sylvester Stallone for writing and directing this movie. I think he did a fantastic job with really just taking the story forward in an interesting way, in a genuine way. It felt authentic to the characters. I didn't. I wasn't sitting here feeling like they were making choices that I didn't believe in, you know? It felt very real. And I liked, even though it wasn't a ton, I liked getting just a little bit more of a look into Apollo Creed, like his mindset and his family life at home. Like, you always see this huge contrast between him and Rocky. Like, Apollo's in this huge, like, mansion of a house, and you never really 
I don't even know if he ever talks to his wife during the movie. He's always kind of neglecting her. Like, he's so single-mindedly focused on the fight and proving his medal, like, proving who he is, proving that he's the champion and proving that he's better than Rocky. Like, he's obsessed with it. And, like, he had, I noticed he had that picture of Rocky, like, on his mirror. But then, like, in Rocky's bedroom, there's a picture of Adrian up on the, the chest or whatever. He's got a picture of Adrian up there. It just shows the difference and the contrast and, like, what Ro what Rocky is focused on and what his priorities are and then what Apollo is focused on. Like, Apollo, his priority is himself. He's very selfish. He's focused on himself. He's focused on the fight and his reputation. Rocky is very humble and unselfish. He cares way more about Adrian and his child than he cares about himself and the fight. Like, I don't think he would have gone through with it if Adrian had really insisted, like, don't do this. But as soon as she got behind him, like, his heart was not in his training until she gave him her approval and she gave him the go-ahead. And once he had her approval, he just completely threw himself into it. But, like, family was... Rocky's priority and then like career was second and with Apollo it's like career first family second and you can see that even in just the little short scenes we did get with Apollo um Carl Weathers he was just so charismatic and even though Apollo was very much the villain in the story he's gloating he's taunting Rocky he's you know slinging mud at him metaphorically and he's doing all the all the dirty tricks but yeah Carl Weathers had just such an incredible presence and charisma about him uh I would be <laughs> if I was a dude I would have been terrified to step into the ring with Carl Weathers he's just such he was such a larger than life personality and I miss him I miss him we all do um but it was nice getting to see him again, see him in this movie playing this character. I really, really enjoyed this movie a lot and I'm so glad. I'm so glad Adrian didn't die. I was, I was concerned when that nurse came out. She's like, oh, the baby's fine. But Adrian, she was having a, like a hemorrhage when she came in here and I'm like, don't you tell me she's dead. I was going to be so upset because you just can't have Rocky without Adrian. <laughs> They're like, they're one. They're one and the same now. They're you can't separate them. It just oh my gosh. I, the way, it, like okay, Sylvester Stallone was so good in that scene where he comes into the hospital room and he's just crying, talking to her when she's in the coma. I just I broke. I broke down because <laughs> again, so real. He just he has such an authenticity about him in his acting that I love. Um, and I've never really seen, I don't think I've ever seen Sylvester Stallone in another role except for Rocky, but he just nails it. I mean, born to play that role. Um, but yeah, just seeing him break down in that scene made me break down. He was so good. Seeing Mick again, getting to train Rocky, the next training montage, like hearkening back to the original training montage in the first movie. I loved that callback and I loved the difference of seeing like, a huge crowd following Rocky now like he has a fan base he's not just this complete unknown coming into the match like he has uh, he has a growing fan base and this loyal fan base and he's the every man and Apollo is kind of like the the rich man in the mansion and he's kind of above uh, the everyday people now yeah and I, I love that contrast between those two characters and how they were showing it throughout the movie and I'm so glad Rocky finally won. It's official. I don't know if Apollo Creed is in another Rocky movie after this, but it would be really interesting to see how he deals with the loss. Like, you know, he would really be reeling after this, like wrestling with, I lost, I was undefeated, but now someone's beaten me. Like, does he step away from it for a while? Does he get back into it? Like, I'm curious what happens. I know there's all those Creed movies. There's like three of them now. And I guess they're about Apollo Creed's son, which that would just be so interesting seeing all that stuff, like seeing that side of things. Because, yeah, these characters are so interesting and so good, so well written. And I really, really enjoyed this sequel. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Thank you so much for watching. 
hit the link in the description below if you want to head over to my Patreon and enjoy the full length watch along. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed and subscribe if you haven't if you want this shirt. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll see a link to uh, my t-shirts, my Shopify store. You'll see lots of products listed down below. You can also go to madisontames.com and find all of my merch and uh, my t-shirts, all that kind of stuff over there, as well as my art, drawings, paintings, prints, all of that cool stuff. You can find all of it on madisontames.com. And thanks again, guys, for watching. And I will see you next week for another Film Friday. Bye, guys.